This episode is brought to you by Daniel Rambles. Daniel Rambles is a YouTuber based out of Thailand. He focuses on travel, exploring local food, and unique places in Asia. The stuff you won't find on Google or TripAdvisor. Join him on his travel adventures at youtube.com backslash at Daniel Rambles. D-A-N-I-E-L-R-A-M-B-L-E-S. Or on Instagram at underscore Daniel Rambles. That's D-A-N-I-E-L-R-A-M-B-L-E-S. And now onto the show. And now for me, catch my flight back to Vietnam. Let's... Let's go right into the eating. Come on, I'm trying to make a, trying to make a YouTube show over here. What's up, everybody? Calvin Bowie of F Can Delicious, and today we are in Bangkok, Thailand. Below me, actually, literally below me, we're on a bridge right now. Below me are a group of um, street food vendors that kind of huddled together on a sidewalk here in the Chit Lom area. Now I'm staying in this Airbnb right over here. And across the street, there are a bunch of carts that are kind of strung together. So let's go through every cart and see what they're selling, and then find some food and then uh, make dinner out of it. All right, let me wait till everybody passes by and then see what each of these carts are selling. So we got some barbecue squid here. That's some grilled meats. Fish balls and hot dogs. People in Asia love that. More fish balls and beef balls. Let's see what else do we have here. We got some noodles, cracklins, beautiful barbecue chicken, barbecue beef. Maybe that is tongue or lung. Oh, they have some papayas salad in here. I'll check that out later on. This beautiful fresh grilled fish. And it's crusted with salt. So that salt will permeate into uh, the fish. Hello. Over here you have, I mean everything. You have socks. You have socks. You have beer down here in case you want some beer. Uh, masks, what else do they have here? T-shirts, lighters, instant coffee, a tumbler if you're looking for one. Hello. She don't think she likes me too much. Over here we have some beautiful fresh fruit. Definitely get some fresh fruit tonight. Some cookies, pastries, was it dessert? Boxer shorts if you need to buy some. Oh, what is this? Oh, hi. Oh, fresh cut fruit. Mango. Ooh. And that's mango too? Okay. Okay, cool. All right. Very cool. Over here we have a a grill with some mu ping and some uh, mu ping is ground pork and then they uh, put it in a skewer and they, and they grill it off that looks delicious okay and then some fermented pork some dried fish some noodles some pork skins and some dog Hello. 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 <clears throat> All right. So what are we going to order now? I think the best thing to do right now is kind of put a little bit of mishmash together and see what we can come up with. Um, we definitely want some moo pings, maybe some pork skewers, some sticky rice. Hello. Let's see. Moo ping. Okay. And then? Thai. Oh, chicken? Chicken and pork, right? Okay. One chicken, one pork, please. Thank you. All right. As you can see, in Thailand, they do order, they do speak English, which is which is nice. Ah, please, yes. So they take the skewers and they put it on the grill, and this will heat it up. You see the smoke coming off of the grill right now. Mm. 
Should I tell him to turn it? <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful color. This is true street food. This, I mean, we're literally on the streets of uh, Chip Loam right now. Oh, you know, that looks really good on YouTube. Thank you. All right. I think I'm pretty much done. Let's see what these two skewers are going to cost. <laughs> All right. <laughs> At least he tried. At least he tried, my friend. Black <clears throat> low. Yes, please, thank you. Great. How much? 25. Okay, 25 baht. But these two skewer, 25 baht. We're going to do the, the breakdown later on, um, maybe in post. <laughs> thank you. So, 25 baht is probably, if 35 baht is a dollar, uh, 20 baht, 25 baht is 80 cents. All right, let's get some. Uh, let's get some fruit. I want some fruit for dinner for dessert. Pineapple looks really good. Papaya looks really good. Can we do a uh, watermelon. So we got mango over here. Watermelon, please. Yes, thank you. Let me get some uh, beautiful watermelon. And you know what? Here's a papaya too. This papaya looks so beautiful. I mean, that is its true color. That's beautiful. So he cuts it, puts it in a bag. So papaya, yes, please. And of course, he doesn't know what I'm saying in, in English, but that's the beauty about Asia, right? You can just point and speak your language and then uh, wish for the best. All right, beautiful. You got watermelon, you got papaya. Very cool. How much? 40 baht? Okay, 40 baht. Let me... Okay, she put it in a bag now, put her red on it, and we're good to go. Okay, so papaya salad, and also some sticky rice. No idea what she's doing right now. Oh, she's putting some Napa cabbage into the thing. This is her secret stash of sticky rice in this container. Oh, chopsticks too. All right. A bowl. Oh, thank you. Spoon. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. How much? 60 baht. Joe, 60 baht. <laughs> Back to the Airbnb, literally across the street, and it's time to dig into what we bought. So at the Airbnb, I love staying here, they do offer plates. And for somebody who loves street food the way I do, it's really nice to have um, plates. And even though they, she did offer a styrofoam bowl for the papaya salad, it is nice to have some plates. Okay, let's start off with this papaya salad here. It's in a bag, papaya salad, chili, tomatoes, long beans, also known as green beans. And then it comes with a very, my mouth is watering right now just talking about it. It comes with a very pungent anchovy sauce. Oh, I cannot wait to 
dig in on this. <clears throat> Here's the bag. Here's the um, beautiful styrofo styrofoam bowl. And then that's it. I mean, look at that beautiful color, the freshness. Again, my mouth is watering right now, and it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> she added some leaves of Napa cabbage. And I'll try to make this nice for you guys. I'll fan it out. I'll put it into this bowl. And there you go, papaya salad. <laughs> All right. She also gave me, us some sticky rice. That's done. Taking the sticky rice, I'm going to put this into a plate. And don't worry, I will clean up the mess later. We have this beautiful two skewers. One, one skewer is made of chicken. And then one skewer is made of pork. I'm going to put the two skewers down here. My mouth is still salivating right now. For dessert, we have two fruits. We have watermelon. Beautifully cut up watermelon. And then we have uh, this beautiful papaya. They added some uh, shrimp, chili, and salt mixture. It's going to sound really weird to you but I'm going to shake this over my fruit. Sometimes when fruit isn't too sweet enough, you add in some salt, some chili, and I'm sure some MSG in here, and uh, the fruit magically tastes sweet to you. Sounds weird, but I promise you, don't knock it till you try it. Okay, there really isn't a pretty way to eat this. The easiest way to eat this is grab a piece of sticky rice, grab a skewer, this is the pork one, Wow. Wow. That is so juicy. That is unbelievable. The flavor that the smoke gives off, savory, sweet, smoky, everything. That's that is a killer skewer. God, it's really good. Next, we have a papaya salad. Now, you could use a fork chopsticks just do this build a big old mound like that and just make a I wouldn't call it a taco but a wrap mmm mm. she put all these chilies in here for me my god oh, that is so good the papaya is crunchy it's fresh the long beans give a really nice earthiness. The tomatoes, acidity. The Napa cabbage, nice crunch, really fresh. But that winner, the winner is that sauce, is that beautiful purplish hue anchovy sauce that makes papaya salad like nothing else you will have. If you're ever in Bangkok, ever in Thailand, papaya salad is a must to eat. Mmm, papaya salad, mooping, sticky rice, dip it into the a beautiful purple sauce. That combination is an absolute banger. Now, we should finish off with some fruit and then uh, call it a day. I'm telling you, something about that dried shrimp, the salt, the sugar, the MSG, whatever it is, whatever it is in this amazing powder mixture it's so good it makes the fruit just dance and come alive it's a papaya look at the color of the papaya ruby red on one side beautiful orange hue on the bottom and for three dollars and sixty cents you can have all this that is an amazing deal if you're ever ever in southeast asia bangkok is a place that you have to check out it is a a must there's a reason why I love Thai food. I think Thai food is the most, the greatest cuisine in the world. What an amazing find. For $3.60 USD or 125 baht, we got a plethora of food. Not only did we get two skewers, the Mu Ping and the Gai Ping, which is the um, ground uh, skewers, the ground meat skewers, but we also got papaya salad, we got papaya, 
we got watermelon, uh, we got some sticky rice. Um, there is no address here, so I'm going to leave the address of our Airbnb across the street, right about here. And whenever you're in Bangkok and you want to try out these little stalls, this is the place to go to. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, comment if you've ever had street food here in Bangkok, Thailand. There's one thing that you guys can do to really make a difference. Let's go out there, support small businesses. It's places like, well, there is no name of this stall. There's no name for any stalls. It's places like this, where they all come together and they, they kind of huddle together and try to share the business. These are the guys who really make this community an amazing place. So if you're ever out there, support small businesses like these places, and I'm gonna call her Calvin's friend and maybe put my name somewhere so you guys can find it. Uh, with that being said, my name is Calvin Bowie, AKA Captain Charisma. I will see you later. Peace.